Hello everyone. First of all, I want to say that I don't have experience of streaming, so if I have some messes, please excuse me. The whole idea here is to make some kind of beginner guide, because when I start to play Albion online, I have a lot of questions and I don't find the answer of these questions. So, when you get the game and you already start the game you probably will see that have some kind of tutorial it's not a big deal it's easy tutorial for a few minutes probably 15 minutes i don't remember for sure you will make the tutorial we will go to one ship and you must find one of the major city on the map you when you click m you will see the map so as you see now i'm at limhurst you have a bridge watch Martwalk, Caerleon, Caerleon is, uh, you will understand, Fort Sterling, Tedford. So, the major city here, 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 here and here. As you see, I always say I am at Limhurst. The most scary part of everyone who just download and start the game is the this destiny board when you click uh, button b you will open the destiny board if you don't have experience of similar games you probably will be scared as you see i unlock some of my destiny boards but believe me it's not easy to open even this one i am not sure probably have some people that open every which of this here but for me this in the gameplay hours is probably <laughs> a few years so <laughs> the most important part is this here as you see is adventuring i already reached the ad elder adventurer each level will give you a new items with higher level than previous when you start you can use only novice back and this back will allow you to carry up to 20 kilos the next level is 75 kilos and you can see each item you will unlock like pressing here uh, okay let me open my inventory you will see that you have position for back for cape armor weapon if your weapon is for one hand will go here if is if your weapon is for main and secondary hand this one here will be red and you will not be allowed to put the second weapon uh, here we have a slot for cape, potions, some, some foods, you will see each items later, and the mount, ah, I miss the boots, as you see now I have some amount of silver, but when you start to play you will not have <laughs> silver, I don't want to sound like some kind of uh, Okay, I played this game from March and believe me, to reach this 86 million silver is probably, probably 10% per percent of the player can reach this amount of silver. Yep, I want to sound. <laughs> like this person uh, what I mean most of the people lose focus they have some friends and their these friends involve them to PvP they don't have some silver and after a few battles they understand that they can allow a new gear so start to asking 
the same friends can you give me this can you give me that i choose the other direction i choose to farm for a probably a month and a half before i make my first pvp battle yeah probably sound not so interesting but if you have uh if you have idea to play this game for a long time and you like the game i recommend you to follow my steps first and most important thing for me is i will click to map again to choose not the primary resource of the zone what i mean when i'm at limhurst most of the people will choose the wood but i choose to gathering heights and wood uh, i'm not sure did you want to lose so much time and up to major activities like gathering like me for now i reach the highest level of skinner and a sixth level of wood gathering uh, first second third and fourth level uh, are the easiest part but when you reach the heavy height even not the heavy height when you reach here the fifth level you will understand how hard starts to be to up level after level so uh, I lose the focus the most important part is to choose what will we gather sorry my telephone's ring excuse me uh, sorry I make some pause uh, okay the major gathering tree you will see a fisherman a fiber harvester or miner animal skinner lumberjack and quarrier you must choose one of these major gathering specialization because as i already say you will not have a silver and a silver is a thing that you will allow you to buy new stuff better stuff a better gathering and a better fighting armor so as i already say i start to be a skinner and a lumberjack expert let me see i start with the main weapon quarter staff fighter i don't want to say that this is a good weapon because when you involve to the game you will see that most of the people searching for uh one thing that they calling zvz sets most of the people want a other type of weapons like this incubus maze but this is not from this video first and most important thing i will press e i excuse me and you will see the reputation you can see the reputation from here also so what is the reputation I will click to info the reputation will give you a defense versus players and CC resistance versus player so if you have a glorious reputation like me you will have mm, better defense versus placer versus players and resistance versus player uh, why this is so important you probably already see or read that Albion is different type of game 
every time when you die you will n the your opponent opponent will get your inventory stuff uh, only the silver is protected and the gold no matter how many times you die they can't get your silver but they can get everything you wearing and carrying at this time so you have if you have a better reputation you have more defense versus players so first and most important thing is to unlock the 10k reputation this here and this here the elder river the elder river will increase your damage versus creatures and increase your defense versus creatures you will start with damage versus creatures start 3 4 5 and 8 so for me and for you probably the best thing to do is to reach 10k reputation and this area here no matter which city you choose as you see we have colors of each map the yellow and the blue colors will, will give you protection the pvp rules don't uh, you can fight here in these zones but only when you duel someone or when you enter to pvp area like this one here in the center you will see that the color of this marker here from blue will go red i will show you now i'm starting to be red so this means that i'm aggressive but no matter my aggressive position if i choose to be aggressive when i'm here if i die then mm, they can get my stuff but here in the red zones the pvp rules start to working so in this area here you can find a uh, biggest level of resources as you see here for example we have a level 7 and as you see the yellow and the blue are from 2 to 5 the red zones already have 6, 7s, even 8 but you must play at least a month before you go here and as I say most important to reach 10k glorious fame uh, glorious reputation we have some options to get this reputation probably the best way to upgrade your reputations is to killing mobs because you will get fame from killing mobs and fame from gathering crafting I will not recommend the crafting for beginners and as you see fame from killing players but if you kill the players here in this kind of area you will lose your reputation the second part sorry again my telephone ring again oh my gosh uh, one more time excuse me I'm not sure what happened in this telephone ring uh, the second major zone of this game is this one here and you can see that we have black zone here in black zones the pvp rules working everywhere so you probably will have protection only from your clan mates or some aliens agreement with few words you can die from anyone here but as i say this is a beginner guide and i will speak only for 
this zone here because for me it's better to stay here at least months and a half because you must reach some kind of silver amount uh, you need silver for me is the major the major thing here is a premium account you have some free days of premium because as you see you have a learning points per day focus per day and a 50% fame bonus and fame bonus is for gathering killing mobs and crop yield farming and you will have a half reduced market tax uh, what I make when I start to play I buy my first mount I will not lie uh, let me see play with gold play with silver yep uh, premium for the 30 days is uh, almost 12 dollars I'm not sure where you're from but believe me I don't want to give every month this amount of dollars if you have if you have <laughs> I'm from country that I want to spend this kind of real money for a game so I start to collect silver and I make this with skinning for now I want to beat this and this video I hope to help you open your destiny board read everything choose wisely what kind of weapon to use I have one weapon for PvP and this is a X fighter I have weapon for killing mobs and gathering skin because quarter staff have this ability and this ability will allow you to stop some cast from the mobs from the animals but as I say I will not recommend your quarter staff you will understand later most of the people searching a healers a tank and dps but you will understand this later for now choose your gather type and start to gathering and make some amount of silver make this glorious reputation collect at least for a mount silver for premium account and that's it okay I think to help everyone here enjoy the game and good luck bye for now I will make a second video soon